What is up guys, Flossy Missiles here. In today's video, we're at the 2018 El Prado, which is a big Volkswagen meetup here in Chino, California. And check out, there's buses and bus parts everywhere. So we're super stoked. I'm super stoked. Are you stoked? So stoked. And so we're gonna walk around, show you guys the best of the best. There's a bunch of 21 windows here, a bunch of palm green sand green cars everywhere. I mean, here, we'll just take a look on this way. Got some Westies over there, a bunch of split windows, a bunch of curved glass. Got this guy right over here, steering wheels, tons of stuff going on. Super clean notch back, huh? Next is this really cute oval window. I like that color, it's like an avocado color. Off-road bumper on that uh, split window over there. And check out this little high top over here. Really cute looking. 23 window rolling in. Okay, this might be one of the cleanest buses here. This thing is insane. Take a look at the interior. It's like everything in here is perfect. Super nice. But I was asking Allie, like everything's paint matched. I was asking if she liked it. I don't know your guys' thoughts. Paint matched emblem and bumpers and mirrors and everything is all one color. Came out really clean. Everything's chromed out, stainless steel. Really done up though. There's like too many buses here to even film. It is pretty the way the sun is sitting. It's got some rust on it. But it's really cool. All the pop outs on it look sweet. Really nice patina on this one. The bumper stock, dude. <laughs> it's hard to convey how big it actually is here, but there's thousands of cars and buses, and it's insane. Here's a palm green sand green, and it's literally perfect condition, like all the way around. Pretty insane looking. I right, check out the CT70. I actually have one of the same exact color and uh, same year. This thing's pretty rad looking. There's two of them right here, but I was gonna show you guys. This is classic fab. They sell reproduction metal for old buses and other kind of Volkswagen thingies. But man, it's just crazy the stuff they have. Like they have a bunch of bay window front ends. We just saw someone buy one over there. They have floor pans, they have split window front ends, all kinds of stuff, fenders, doors, anything you can imagine. It's all right here. Got a whole row of fiberglass buggies right here. Um, there's this one right there. I think it looks insane. I don't know what it is. And I don't know what it's registered as, but let's go try to take a look at it really quick. So it's got newer plates on it. So I don't know if it's been registered for a while, but it's definitely got a Volkswagen beam on the front. You can see that right in there. But what is this thing? Crazy looking fiberglass body. It's got a Volkswagen engine in it. Huh. Really interesting. You can kind of see it. Really pretty. What is this thing? Oh, it's homemade. Oh, it's homemade? I think it looks yeah. awesome. Well, there's, I gave the molds to a friend of mine. He's making a copy, so there's actually only two of them. Right? That is so rad. Thanks. That is cool. This is actually a pretty serious little Minx. It's got a Subi in it. Check that out. Crazy looking cage and suspension and stuff. Some cutting cutting brakes, whatever they're called. Yeah. Still got a beam front end. Looks like he's got some more travel on it though. So here's the Minx we saw out at Mexico a few months ago for the Baja 1000. And it's here now at Prado and Chino. Look at all these fiberglass buggies though. Got some behind us as well. They're everywhere. Kind of a unique color on one of these. Let me know what you guys think about it. It's like a purplish color. I like a periwinkle. Like a periwinkle, Ali says. Look at these cool bugs right here. Going up right there. Here's a square back that they turn into a panel, unless it came that way, but I don't think so. But it's a panel uh, square back. And some more square backs, some notch backs, things. There's tons of things here. That one over there has six doors on it. We'll go take a look at that one in a second. This thing over here has a rooftop tent on it. That's actually really cool. And it's got a really crazy color. I've never even seen a thing this color before. But really rad looking. And here's that six door thing. I don't know where they extended it. I guess they extended it. Probably like right here-ish area, but looks pretty crazy, honestly. They did a good job, I mean, really crazy custom. There's the lake right there, it's so pretty. And some more things behind us. These things look so gangster with their uh, windows folded down. This one's right-hand drive too. 
You may not see a lot of these at all. But, man, a lot of things here. Ugly Volkswagen, that's pretty funny. So yeah, if you get stuck in a thing, you can just crank start it. They have little holes cut out, so you can go ahead and do that. If you're ever stuck with a dead battery, check out this one right here. It's got checking out some little lifted and up high. And it's like A-arms on the front of it. It's pretty gnarly. No front beam on this thing. I wonder how it does out in the desert. It's 411 over here as well. I think this is the only one here that I've seen so far. And it's really cool looking. The interior looks sweet on it. It's like plaid and red. You really don't see too many of these for some reason. I've seen a couple of them on Craigslist. There goes that CT70. I should buy another one of those, but I already have a Grom. I don't know what I'll do with it. Crazy how many Volkswagens are here. Dog's got a pretty pimp ride. Some Type 3's, we got a fast back right here and a square back. Off topic, but here's a teardrop that I want to build one day. One just like this actually, probably you know roughly same size. Pull with the Miata. There's a Volkswagen kit car. It's supposed to look like a, like a Ford, what is it called? Ford uh, GT40 or whatever they're called? Yeah. <laughs> Decals on this split. Oh my gosh, someone totally hacked up this split one. I wonder if it was carbon or rust or something. But they turned it into like a Baja bus type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> this looks insane. Yeah. I'm guessing it must have been rusted out or something for them to do this to it. Oh yeah, they got the canoe up top. Looks like they're ready to roll. It's still like licensed and registered and all that. It's got a swing on it too. I really like the color of this bus. I don't think this is an original color or anything, but it does look sweet. And this cool Vespa right there. Check that out. Palm green, sand green out here camping out. This one with the canoe on top looks pretty cool. They got a good spot next to the lake. This blue one right here is really pretty as well. But some of these camp spots are just so done up and like they have all kinds of stuff uh, hanging off their campsites and tents and stuff. Pretty awesome. Looks like OG paint. It's got some flowers painted on the front of it, but it's really cute looking. The single cab has a uh, crane on it, so I guess they can hoist stuff up in there if I pick up an engine or whatever. But really good patina on it. Next to this guy, more Vespas too. I like to see the Vespas out here. These things are really sweet looking. My dad loves these things. This is a Volkswagen Shorty, so it's basically a Volkswagen bus. And they've chopped the center section out of it, so it's a little tiny guy now. Tillamook, the cheese company, has like, I think like 50 of these little guys. But they look rad. That Volkswagen Club is named H2O Negative. That's a pretty funny name since, you know, they're air-cooled and stuff. But we're in more of a camping section now. Nothing's really for sale over here. But there's tons of buses over here. These things look insane, these fiberglass cars. It's like a, I, I don't know how you could register that as a Volkswagen bug, but it's not a Volkswagen chassis, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know, right? It's pretty, pretty insane. Bradley GT. Volkswagen R next to the Colorado, and there's some Sirocco's and some other water cooled things over here as well. There's a Volkswagen Caddy right there, diesel, just like one I used to have. Pretty stoked on seeing that out here. Got a Volkswagen R32 right here. If you guys don't know, this is the all wheel drive six cylinder model. 2004. Those things are pretty sweet. Here's like a limo Jetta. I've never seen this before. Here's a better look at that caddy. This thing is low. Looks like this bus is still in all original paint and it looks really cool. This is a 1932 bike right here for sale. 2500 bucks if you guys want it. It's pretty cool in the Volkswagen community. You don't even got to chain it up. No one's going to steal it. Wow. So still walking around. Uh, honestly, we've been walking for a really long time. And we're just looking at everything pretty much here. Safari window on a bug. That's interesting. Check out this rooftop uh, tent on the split window over here. Pretty cool too. And he's got like some tent and some other cool tent stuff set up. He's even pulling a trailer. Got an old vest with a sidecar and two old school tents. wonder if this thing drove in here. But this is probably the oldest bus I've seen so far. This is a 51. It is a uh, barn door. You can tell by that giant door in the back. <laughs> Looks like it's wearing most of its original paint. Who knows though? I think I've actually seen this bus before. But yeah, this is a super old one. 51. Oh my gosh. Look at those tires, Ali. He definitely drove in. So here's a Volkswagen bus that someone converted into a little camper. So they just got camper molded it onto the rear. I've always actually kind of wanted to do this. If I ever got a bus that was rusty enough, I probably would do this because it'd be nice to get some more room back there. Next to some high toppers and some stuff for sale. So you guys are used to seeing I have two of those at home. But check out these two door mobiles right here. Split window door mobile. So the door mobile is like Westfalia kind of. I mean, it's not Westfalia at all, but it is a camper bus. They sell this aftermarket uh, fiberglass piece that comes on the that you put on the top of the bus, and you can flip it over and uh, get some more some more viewing. But if you notice, they installed this one going this way, 
installed that one going that way. I don't know if those were done back in the day or if those were done recently, but they still do sell the fiberglass tops like that so you can convert one or uh, replace the one that you have if it's all cracked or whatever. But we're still walking through the camping area and as you can see, there's just buses and bugs everywhere. <laughs> we're gonna loop back around eventually and go to where all the, everything's for sale, so like the swap meet section and uh, check out what's for sale. I don't really need anything for any air-cooled Volkswagens right now. I only have one air-cooled Volkswagen, so I'm not worried about it. But if I find some Vanagon parts, I need a flying saucer hubcap, so keep my eye open for that. But in the meantime, we're just gonna keep walking and checking out all these beautiful Volkswagens. This thing has so many accessories on it. Oh my gosh, old school AC. So check out this thing, you can walk all the way through it. So they must have used this for parts or something back in the day, or it was like a special order, I think, because, but it's got a camper interior, I don't know. Maybe they, they just ordered it like this. So the doors open on both sides, so four doors on the center section, two in the front, pretty interesting. It's got awnings on both sides too, pop out, look really cool. Just as I was saying that Ali showed me, it said laundry cleaning in the front, so they had to use this for a laundry cleaning business back in the day, which makes sense how both sides open up like that. And you can see all the way through the bus. Someone like probably retrofitted with this uh, camper interior. Block out the sun, these Volkswagens have a, it's like louvers in the rear window, they actually look really cool. And I'm sure they're pretty effective. It's next to this 21 window. It's called, the guy named it Peach in 21, which I thought was a pretty, pretty cool name for it. Looks like he's just finishing it up. Still has a few pieces missing off of it, but really nice. This guy's fixing his hair in this mirror over here. He's doing his hair up in his, in his bug. With this background, this thing is really cool looking. It's like a really nice background, you got a good spot. It's a cool looking bus. So I believe on the deluxe model uh, Volkswagen buses, they call these bars that go around on the inside jail bars. And it makes sense, you can see them through the windows. Check out this high topper uh, Volkswagen van again. It's crazy looking color, but it says motel up there. Pretty cool. Also says it's turbo diesel, which is inter interesting. I wonder what kind of engine it has in it. Here's another cool teardrop. I'm sure it was pulled by this guy right here. Palm green, sand green down there. Really clean looking panel parked up there on the hill. Someone just drug in a U-Haul, so I'm guessing their uh, Volkswagen didn't make it, so they got a U-Haul trailer. I remember last year when we were leaving here, there was a few tow trucks coming in as we were taking off, so I'm guessing a people, few people's car didn't want to start back up after they got going, but check out, there's this bus over there, I just noticed it has no rear window. Looks like a panel all the way around, that's pretty insane. Volkswagen Dave, got that third brake light up there. A lot of the ambulances and stuff had those back in the day fire trucks and whatnot. Campsite's got a 21, they got a bug, and if you see that right over there, they have a pool for the kids. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Don't see too many of these. <clears throat> Volkswagen Carman Gia. Double cab pulling a trailer. I don't even know if this is a real double, double cab or not. Looks like it's all like Mickey Mouse. I don't know. It's kind of interesting looking. It's got a thing cut in for some top glass. But hey, whatever, whatever makes you happy. Pretty cool uh, looking as far as paint and stuff though. Pretty wild. That's so cool. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. That's why you need a big dog. <laughs> this is a 1960 Porsche. This thing is an old, old military vehicle it looks like. Kind of looks like a thing, right? Very similar. Nope. This guy must sell coffee out of there. That's pretty awesome. Bus stop cafe. Looks like these guys over here, they're doing the, the clear coat over their rust, the patina look or whatever. I kind of been liking the, the non-clear coated rust, kind of a flat look instead of super glossy. This one has semi fours on it, so that's pretty awesome. Here's another good example of one you can walk all the way through, all the other side. This one looks like it's an original paint. This is a palm green sand green, 56. I wonder if this bug road chipped it pretty far because he's got four tires on the back. I don't know, it's just backups? What do you think that is? It says it's a crown of gear, but it doesn't look like a crown of gear. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you could call it a gear, I guess. It's a Type 34. So I don't actually believe these were ever sold in the States. They might have been, but there's not too many of these around either. Type 34 Gia. What kind of dealio is this? So I made a little rat rod custom, custom dealio. Check out the, he's got plans for the dash. There's his glove box, his radio, speedometer, that's funny. Work in progress. Here's a split window bug out here. I always like the dashes on these old, old bugs. This is a 1950. It's got the semi-fours that pop out of the side. 
imagine this kind of roof rack. You have to come up through the front. I don't know if that's legal or not having those bars in the front, but I'm sure they don't daily this thing, so not a big deal, but crazy roof rack. Oh, they got a ladder up the side, too. Volkswagen Surf floor, that's cool. Also, I was looking at this visor on the shorty. First off, the shorty's really cute looking, but it's got a cool visor, too. I wish we had a drone so we can catch, catch the top of this thing. I'll lift up my camera. It's custom painted on top. So this Volkswagen over here has a really interesting front window. Not sure how they made that, but this is a straight up Volksrod. Actually some Baja bugs. Tons of more bugs. I mean there's bugs in every direction right here. So I was walking by this bay window and I noticed that's not a real front tire. And there's a radiator in there. So I wonder what kind of motor he has in it. Let's see if it's opened up. Oh, it's for sale even too. Sure enough it's open. So I don't know what this is. It looks like a V6 maybe in here. Maybe a V8, I can't really tell. From right here, it looks like a V6. But this thing must haul. <laughs> so there's another 411 here. Look at the front ends on these. These are the cutest front ends for Volkswagen. Not the cutest, but they are, they are pretty cute. If you guys haven't guessed by now, this is my favorite colorway is the palm green, sand green. They're just so cool looking. I like those bumpers, those her style bumpers. I'd probably get one for my bus. If I ever got like a cool split window or anything like that. Here's like a bus project if you want to start from scratch, pretty much. I think it's probably still a couple grand. How much is this thing? 20 grand. 20K if you guys want to call that number. It's a nice uh, splitty we got going on here. <laughs> minor, minor cancer. Ali likes that red for that split window down there. We've actually seen that guy at Big Wednesday before. Alright, so we're just about to head out of 2018 El Prado. It was a great turnout this year. Did you have fun, Allie? I did. Lots of buses, lots of stuff for sale. There's still tons of people rolling in. It's actually only 8.45, but uh, we gotta head to church. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. Thank you so much for watching.